A defect is something that's wrong. Now, this should be perfectly obvious. When you get rid of something that you don't want, you don't necessarily get what you do want. And so finding deficiencies and getting rid of them is not a way of improving performance of a system. That's easy to demonstrate. Take a television set. Go in and turn it on right now. What's the probability you'll get a program you want? Well, you probably haven't calculated it. I have. It's 0 0.01. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's a defect I can very easily get rid of. All I have to do is turn the channel. What's the probability I'll get a program I want? <laughs> Still 0 0.01, which means I have a 50-50 chance of getting a program I want even less. Basic principle. An improvement program must be directed at what you want, not at what you don't want. And determining what you want requires your de redesigning the system not for the future, but right now, and asking yourself, what would you do right now if you could do whatever you wanted to? Because if you don't know what you would do if you could do whatever you wanted to, how in the world can you know what you can do under constraints? But people don't ask themselves that question. 